I found. Hi. Hi, everybody. My name is Fran Brill, and I call myself a performer. I'm basically a jack of all trades. I am a working actress. Um, I've been involved with the Muppets, specifically really with Sesame Street, since the second season of the show, and I have worked with them off and on for the past umpty ump years, um, while also performing as an actress on television, radio, films, soap operas. Did Fran tell you how I like to dance? Yeah, and my favorite was the silly willy nilly dance, and it goes like this. Shake a shake a freeze, shake a shake a freeze, shake a shake a freeze. Everybody can do that dance, it's really easy. I have thought about being the first woman and it actually didn't even occur to me to, uh, until a few years ago when people started asking me to speak to this group or that group. And I thought, well, I guess, I guess the fact that I was the first female in this boys club and why did I succeed? It made me start thinking about all that. And, um, and I guess I realize now that that is a special thing and I am very proud of that. So I remember reaching my hand into this box and saying, oh my gosh, here I am auditioning for Jim Henson and Frank Oz and the Muppets and I have never put on a puppet in my life. But I just stuck my hand and came up with a puppet and um, you know, there were some scripts and we improvised and we kitted around a lot and it was very relaxed and easy going. It didn't even feel like an audition. And uh, the next thing I knew, I was taking a two week workshop to learn the basic principles of puppeteering. When I watched Sesame Street that first season when I came as an actress to New York, I watched the show because it cheered me up, basically, because I would make my rounds all day long trying to get somebody to represent me. And I would come home at four o'clock and that's when Sesame Street was on. And I would watch it and I'd watch Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and they, both those shows just made me feel better about myself. But when I was watching Sesame Street, I thought, you know, you get such a feeling of warmth from this show, especially from the Muppets, and I thought, these must really be nice people. You know, you can't fake that, it's just coming through. So that was really what I took out of it. I thought, this must be just a, a, a cool bunch of people. She got her name because uh, we were in a meeting and the uh, head writer said, well, why don't we name her Franny? And I said, well, you know, I really don't want a puppet named after me. But I thought of the J.D. Salinger book, uh, Franny and Zoe. And uh, Zoe was not a very common name at that time, so that's how Zoe became Zoe. Everybody liked that name. You know what else I talked about, Zoe? What? Well, I talked a little bit about me, how I became an actress. <gasps> you talked about something other than me? <laughs> yep, I did. But um, Zoe, I have one more thing to tell all these nice people about, and that's Jim Henson. Oh, Jim Henson. Yeah, I've heard of him. I, I bet he was nice. Yes, he was very, very nice. To make Jim laugh, it was a wonderful thing. I know I take great pride in whenever I made Jim laugh because he basically was a serious, very focused, hardworking person. He wasn't like a Robin Williams or somebody who, you know, wants to make anybody laugh that he's around. Jim wasn't like that, nor is Frank like that. But when they got in front of a camera, they were very funny. And the outtakes are terrific and fun. It was a great joy, great joy to be around them. There's really many times, even today, when I'm in a difficult situation and I think, how would Jim have handled this? Um, he, he treated everybody with respect, no matter whether they were a sanitation person or the head of the network. Uh, he just treated everybody the same. So I, I think he was very good at choosing puppeteers who try to go out in life and carry on you know, the way he was as a human being. I think Jim had it right. I think that what we do on Earth as human beings and what we do as our work is really important. And I think why I've really gone back to Sesame Street and love Sesame Street and want to perform Sesame Street is that I think that the message of Sesame Street is so good and strong, meaning that we're all one people and diversity is a great thing. 
We all learn from each other. I think as long as Sesame Street is on the air, that message will come through to the, to the children all over the world.